Van Life dogs are some of the happiest puppies in the world because every day is a new adventure. But what happens when that adventure takes you into a big city? Wanna go see your friend? Oh man, okay, friend Okay, you time. ready? Go see your friend. Hi. Good job, buddy. City Van Life sure is hard for a pup. Be sure to subscribe as we share everything you need to know about having a van life dog in the city. The first place we navigate ourselves to in any city is the dog park. We need to bust out the walkie talkies because we're like, what are they doing? I know. I said, Frank, why don't we go door to door? And he was like, I'm backing in. I'm like, come on. Want to go see your friend? Oh, man. Okay, friend time. you ready? Go see your friend. It's friend time. Oh, Paco's. Paco, go in. <laughs> he knows his friend's vans, and he's like, let me in. So here's the plan. We came to a dog park. We're gonna let Paco run around a little bit and then we're gonna make some dinner. We get to be here till 10 o'clock at night, which is a good spot, and then we can find a place to park. Always check what time the parks are open until because if you stay past the hours, you might get knocked on by the police, like we did. <laughs> dog parks aren't only great for dogs. You'll often find other nomads in the parking lot too. Sick. And then this whole drawer is just storage. Wow. Sick. It's amazing what you could do with such a small space. He built this, like he had a picture from the internet and then everything else was just him. Like he Figuring it out. Wild. I love the tabletop. Yeah. That's awesome. The little open up and you have a table. Yeah. Oh my god, he's so fast. <laughs> and Paco just jumped at him. We got the fastest boy in the park for sure. Uh, what were you guys? Here, Paco! Hey, Bubba! <laughs> he's like, what is that? Papa, hi! Hi! Good job, buddy. He's just so good. He's just so good. He's yes, like, yeah. Yes, okay. Okay, go, go ahead. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go. <laughs> We're done with the dog park and we are cooking some dinner. Right now we got Stoke Loaf. Right across from us yeah. cooking something as well. Pizza night. Pizza night. night. Hey, come on in. We're also doing pizza and it's delicious. <laughs> Our lighting is so much different than this. Yeah. yeah. Like, I can see you guys very oh, well. Yeah. Yeah, I can and see then I go screen. this way and I can barely yeah. see anything. Now it's blue. Dabo do dabo do. <laughs> They're awesome. Stoke Loaf fan. Check them out on Instagram. Go and watch their vlogs. Yeah, go watch their vlogs no, that they wait, don't have. Vlog. So read vlog. their vlog posts. Vlog. With vlog. a B. <laughs> <laughs> like some 30 year old stuff. <laughs> <laughs> their vlog is analog. So, it, but it's very useful and helpful. If you guys remember back when our heater died and we had to disassemble and reassemble the whole thing, step by step, their blog told us how to do it. Most things that you're looking to have done in a van, they've probably written a blog about it and it is great step by step detail. How are you sitting like that? Is that even comfortable? Yeah? He's a sweet, sweet boy. He's just looking at the pizza. F&A pizza is a little bit non-traditional. It's the pizza dough, but fried in a pan. Stoke Loaf has a more traditional pizza setup that they're gonna show you now. Pre-bought flatbread from Aldi, some sauce, a bunch of toppings for his and hers pizza, and some vegan diet cheese. I might have to steal some of that cheese. And they got like a legit oven over here. Oh, so fancy. <laughs> Before we dive deeper into city van life, we are so glad that today's episode is sponsored by BetterHelp because city van life can be a little bit stressful. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, which is why we are so glad to be sharing a discount code for online therapy. This is the perfect time to raise awareness about mental health and to fight the stigma that a lot of people face when seeking therapy. This year's theme is Together for Mental Health, and Frankie and I wouldn't be together if it wasn't for mental health, because a year and a half before we met, I started seeing a therapist, and that helped me get out of a super toxic relationship and heal from all of the abuse that I went through. 
Another big theme for Mental Health Awareness Month is access to care. And that's why BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, is so important. Because we're always traveling, this is legitimately the only way that I can get therapy. They offer phone calls, video calls, as well as live chat. BetterHelp is more affordable than traditional in-person therapy. You can apply for financial aid during the sign-up process, and they also take HSA benefits. And for anybody signing up through FNA, you can also get a sweet discount by going through this link. With over 20,000 therapists to choose from, there's no doubt that you'll be able to connect with somebody that can help you with your specific needs. All you have to do is fill out the quick questionnaire, and with 48 hours, they'll have you connected with somebody who can help. BetterHelp has been F and A for our adventures, and we hope that it becomes a part of your self care routine too. Hi, yeah! Wow, that was a really further fall than I was anticipating. The pizzas are ready at about exactly the same time, so there is no benefit to either cooking method. Is it cake? <laughs> no, it's, no pizza. it's pizza. Each of us gets two pies. They've got the flatbreads. Hers, his. <laughs> no olives for me. I have the olives on mine and some spicy flakes. But how do we like, how do we say which one's better? We'll have no idea because we're going to eat ours, they're going to eat theirs. So it's you, for you guys get to, to decide. decide whose pizza is better. Which one do you want? Do you want the square or do you want the circle? Looks like he wants the square, baby. <laughs> What a traitor. There we We're go. We're making a table. Oh, it's a rotator. Yeah, wow. That's nice. okay, that's awesome. It's a lagoon. <laughs> uh, the lagoon. <laughs> First bite. Oh, really mm -hmm. good. Mm-hmm. Yum. <laughs> it's almost 10 o'clock, so we need to leave this spot. We did the dishes, and we're gonna put up all of our back window covers now, so that when we get to the spot, everything's already blacked out in the back. And once that's done, all we gotta do is throw up the front covers, and we're ready to go to sleep. We feel extra safe in the city because with Paco, we have a built-in alarm system. We're 15 minutes away from the spot we're gonna try to sleep tonight. It's a neighborhood, so we're gonna have to scope it out and see if we can find a good spot. Fingers crossed. We just pulled up to a spot. There's literally a dog park right there. So tomorrow when we wake up, we can take Paco out. One of those moments where you ask each other, how do you feel? Both Alex and I felt really good about this one. We don't feel uncomfortable in any type of way. So that's a good sign, always. Good morning. <laughs> it is 7 a.m. ish, and we are now <laughs> leaving the spot that we parked at last night. It was very peaceful. I heard a couple of cars through the night, like when we were first falling asleep, a couple like really loud motorcycles ripped by, but then knocked out. Knocked. I'll take the keys, please. Shit, <laughs> right in the face. One of the nicest and polite things you could do when you're living in a van and you're sleeping on a street, just pull yourself out of that spot early in the morning so that way you're not bothering anybody. Nobody feels like that you're just like in their space or worried about their families or anything. Pull into a park, nice and easy. What, you missed the entrance. Did I? <laughs> Sorry, made it. You got honked at. I don't care. Ooh, and the bathrooms are being cleaned right now. They're gonna be so fresh for us. It's gonna be amazing. Look how beautiful the view is, too. Wow. You think Paco wants to go for a walk? Uh, yes. <laughs> Duh. Paco, do you wanna go for a walk? Oh my oh, god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, no, no, oh, wait, shit. no, no, don't oh, go down there. There's too much stuff down there. When you really look for it, there's green space in lots of cities, so you're not stuck going to the dog park if your dog's not really into that. That's so fun! What are you guys doing? Mm. You were praying! <laughs> hey! Oh, uh, we just pulled in there. Alright, cool. Yeah. You wanna go up and in? Come on, buddy. Alright, see you later, bud. <laughs> we're crying? He's so happy. He's not even looking at us. <laughs> we're dogged down, but I think he'll come back to us. Yeah, we're not worried. <laughs> the good the good part is is like him getting exposure to all different types of people and all different types of dogs is allowing him to grow a lot. People who met Paco when he was like brand new to us, who had didn't see him for like a year plus and then saw him recently, it was like, oh my God, he's a totally different dog. Yeah, they really can't believe how much change he's had. His personality has came out in a good way. He's so personable with people and with other dogs. He does have his moments still with other dogs. He gets scared of the big ones. Yeah. And then tries to intimidate them. Yeah. And then they get mad at him. Yeah, and they're it's like, I'm gonna cycle. eat you. Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. Not so. good. We're working on it. This dog is really fast. <laughs> oh. 
all this dog talk has really worked up an appetite. We are working today and getting some lunch ready and our friends are showing us up. You guys are so much better than we are. <laughs> We're trying. We're trying. So much better. <laughs> well, it's better with Paco though. Yeah. Right? Paco makes it better. Paco's healthy. <laughs> when you go. We're just in there eating and sitting on our computers. <laughs> So it's like a little bit of a salad. Frankie, instead of dressing, is getting the last bit of this little desert pepper, sweet corn, and oh, black yum. beans. Best salsa ever. Don't buy it, because then we won't be able to find it in the store anymore, because they hardly ever have it, but it's so good. I'm gonna have a little bit of veganized, some olive oil, and some balsamic. There was poop on my shoe from the dog park. I got it off with a stick, I put it in the water, I put the shoe on, and I rubbed it all in the grass. What'd you do with the poo shoe? The poo shoe is on my foot. The other one, well, I, I rinsed it and I wiped it in the grass, so I had to put it on. I had sandals on outside. So now I'm, my driving foot's a sandal foot. It's not a poo shoe anymore. <laughs> I mean, it's like 50 50 at this point. It's a partial poo. <laughs> it's a partial poo shoe, yeah. Better than total poo. <laughs> Oh, We're man. on our way to dinner with friends. One of the great things about being in the city is that you can meet up with a lot of different nomads. So we're gonna show you some of our sweet peeps who just all happen to be in Phoenix right now. Cause he's driving. Driving for the very first time. That store makes me feel like I need a wardrobe upgrade. We almost always pick outdoor dining, that way Paco could join us whenever we're going out to eat with friends. How are y'all? Good to see you, everybody! Hey. 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 We spent the day working at the dog park, and now we are back at Nate and Maud's on a very special mission. So they just got their van back. They're getting ready to sell it, which is very exciting. And we are crashing in the parking lot, but we're gonna go inside for the van lifer's favorite treat. Can you guess what it is? This is Jenny. Oh, dirty cheese. Yeah. I love cheese. Hey, oh, welcome to Shower Town. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so excited. We were just talking about it. He doesn't eat cheese. Not really. No. I used to eat a lot of cheese. In Holland, yeah. you can't resist it. <laughs> Nate is out there preparing a delicious meal. I know Alex is gonna get in there in a little bit. We're gonna make the Caesar salad that Stoke Loaf sent us the ingredients for. They're making a cookbook right now for all the vegan things that they make. So we're really excited to share this Caesar salad with them. But I'm gonna jump in the shower, so yeah. This is what happens when you get in the house. You take a shower. Man, is that what a good, glorious shower feels like? I miss house life sometimes because of that reason right there. Now let's go eat. We got everything healthy here. Oh, let's see y'all coming in real hot. Oh. Real hot. Oh. A little bit of Oh, for the boy. Oh, Look, clean up. Little vacuum in the house now. There are dishes for not only our food, but also for our salad. We're not used to that, man. Like, it's so bougie. It's super bougie. And then afterwards, we're just gonna put everything into a dishwasher. <gasps> Sick, right? What is a dishwasher? It's you, yeah. most night. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I do most of the dishes. That's not true, I do most of them. No. Yes. Like, you think you do more than 50% of the dishes? Yes. Uh, on what planet? Oh, on this one. <laughs> I can't wait to share. I think it's all ready. You guys ready to eat? Oh, yes. yeah. Let's do this. 
Are you the most comfortable boy in the world? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I think we have to take this pillow with us, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's part of the pillow now. <laughs> hey, buddy, are you ready for bed? Take you out on a platter. Can I have more kisses? Uh, Thank you. <laughs> I love that he lays here on this pillow. pillow. Yeah, yeah, it's his yeah. pillow. We said we're taking the pillow with yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Are you agreeing to more throw pillows? <laughs> Only the one for Paco. He loves it. Yeah. You can have it. Oh, oh we can't. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I don't think our Airbnb host yeah. will even notice. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, they work out well, they Paco. I think it's time. It's time. It's time to say goodbye. No. Just goodbye for now. For We're now. See you later. See you later. Uh, see you later. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are hanging out right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for having me. Oh, thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you. Good morning, Papa. You. Good morning. Please no. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Let's go see your oh. That's fun. <laughs> we stayed up with Naim out way too late last night. We were talking and just having a great time. And then I looked at the clock and I was like, is it really midnight? Mm -hmm. And then we talked for another hour probably after that. So we slept hard last night. Yeah. So late. My Cinderella shoes popped off. I didn't have a pretty dress on anymore. It's Saturday, which means absolutely nothing for us because every day is the potential work day. And we have to get a video out for Monday, so we'll probably hang out with some friends and do some editing and maybe do some shopping. But for now, we stretch. Vanning Wilder, it was such a pleasure hanging out with you guys. You guys are amazing. I can't wait to see your adventures coming up. Being so hard to say goodbye to friends because we probably won't see some of our friends for a very long time coming up here soon, knowing the fact that we're gonna be leaving for Mexico. The saying goodbye to them, bittersweet. We're going to see some more friends and we're gonna have to say goodbye today. Bye, Nate. Bye, Mel. Hi, guys. You guys are awesome. We'll miss you. Nobody's home. Maybe they went on a walk. Maybe they're creeping the dog park dogless. <gasps> Let's go check. Hey, they were home. They were just doing sex. Sex. Hey, we were not doing the sex. <laughs> uh, now I feel like you definitely were. Doing <laughs> cool. <laughs> 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 We're back in the van. We had a little bit of like brunch. It's way too hot to cook, so it's like a yogurty granola thing. How is it, buddy? Delicious. You told me it tasted like vomit. The first bite was weird. <laughs> it's gotten better. We have a few more things we have to do in the city, but then it's upward and onward. This <laughs> <laughs> looks less satisfied yeah. about it. Yeah. You giving the kisses? Paco. Giving the kisses? Oh. You see that big smile? Uh, Good boy. Safe travels, Paco. He's gonna yeah. miss you guys. I know. Yeah. We're gonna miss Paco too. And miss... you guys. Yeah. A little bit. I'm so cool. <laughs> Sad. I have business at the post office, but Frank's lost the package. Where is it, Frank? I don't know. I don't know where the package is. Paco, where is it? Found it. Okay, let's Did you? go. I think I Frank found it. found it okay. under my chair. I'll help you out. I didn't look very hard, apparently. Come on, I'll help you out. Post office, done. If you know, you know. We are leaving one big city and headed to the next, but hopefully we can find a beautiful spot to stay in between that's nice and quiet and out in the middle of nowhere. 
We don't need a destination. Let's go where the river's taken. Whew, we just had a little bit of lunch. It was so, so good. <laughs> My friend sent me a recipe for a chickpea tuna salad sandwich. That was delicious. So nice. We even shared it with a friend. Yes, we did. And so now we've got a little bit of a hack for hot summer days. <laughs> Mine, like, don't cook anything because that's a bad idea. Yeah. But we've been taking our mason jars and filling them with water so their water is nice and cold and then putting them into our brew mates and then the water stays wicked cold for wicked, wicked long. Mad cold for mad long. Mad cold for mad long. Yeah, it's a New York thing, not not a not Boston. Boston thing. Yeah. It's a New York, not Boston. My bad. A little quick transfer. Now you have cold water inside your bottle. So we're just gonna refill the glass and then put it back in the fridge so the next time we're ready to drink, it's nice and cold because Lord knows there's nothing quite as unrefreshing as warm water on a hot day. Clearly, city van life was just a little bit too much for our puppy Paco. If we hold on tight, we can chase the Mississippi through the night, hundreds of miles away. I've never seen so many RVs in my entire life in one spot. Kind of crazy. After a week in the city, we were ready to relax. Be sure to click this video right here to come and join us on our next adventure, which is Baja, Mexico, all the way to Panama. We'll see you there.